the jump shot. I uploaded the vids from my phone to here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so we're gonna take a look at the first one. They got the ball in balance, right? You guard number yeah. seven, right? Correct. You guard seven. Yeah, I'm guarding seven. Now to start to start that to start that playoff, right? As soon as, yeah. as soon as you begin to match up, yeah, you just always stay in front. Don't let him get past you. There's no need if he don't got the ball. You can yeah. see, you can see my screen. If he don't got the ball, yeah. there's no need to pick him up this far, out from the basket, right? You feel me? Yeah. There's no need to get him because the basket you're trying to guard. It's all the way down here, so there's no need to, to try to pick him up all the way over here like it's football. Because you yeah. just got to protect the basket. And now him yeah. by doing I this, if his teammate was aware, he would have threw that ball to that rim, and they would have had a layup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, e good. even when your coach tell you to say pick up full court, if they don't got the ball, back off a little bit. Make sure you're always in between the person you're guarding and the rim. And okay, okay. Make sure you're always in between. Don't let them cut. Don't let them back door. Don't let them get a cut. Always make sure you're between them and the rim. Because if you don't, yeah. and say his teammate did pass that ball, the coach will probably sub you out because that's, that's a dumb play. Yeah. Yo, what up, Ruby? Like I got saying, boom, now you're getting back. Same thing again, same thing again. You let him get in front. It's the same thing again. You see him let you see him not have that ball in his hands? You see him not being a threat? Right? Yeah. As soon as as once he the thing is right here. You can see my screen or are you looking at it yourself? I I I can see your screen. I can see your screen, but it is a bit late. Yeah, it's a delay. It's a delay, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Boom, you see right there? He just picked the ball up. He just picked the ball up. You see that? Yeah, yeah, I see. As soon as he does that, then you should get up into his body. Because now he can't dribble. He can't dribble. I see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So since he can't dribble, uh, you can uh, crowd uh, him uh, up and try to make him throw a turnover. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. And then you see him do this. Boom, look at this. You see him pass. And that's when you drop back, you sprint to get back and stay between him and the rim. He gave the ball up, but now boom. And now boom, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now he's in front of you. And he's able to throw that pass all the way to the rim, just like I told you last time. Yeah. Look. He threw, yeah. that pass. he threw that same pass once again. The same pass over over again. Yeah. Now you made a play. Great way to make a play. Get the tip. Get the tip right there. To tip it out. Of, to back tap him right there. And by the way, if you want me to watch your film or want to watch all these breakdowns live, go check those links in the description. Go join the Discord. Follow on Twitch. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll just get right back to it. Good play to yeah. make. Good play to make. You, so you kind of you saved yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I, have, I haven't seen this first clip, but we're going we gonna to go through it right again right quick. We're going to go through it. I haven't seen it. Same thing again right there. You see? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see it. Where you, where you just sprinted past you right there? The same thing. The same, yeah, it was not, the same thing where it's kind of, yeah. he just kind of sprints past you. You got to stay between him and the rim. My bad. I ain't put this on full screen. I don't know why I'm tripping. I ain't put it on full screen, but hold on. Sorry, 
hard to see up in there. Hold on, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Yeah, I lost track. Teammate right there. Mm. Ain't too much to see in there. Ain't too much to see in those. I'm gonna go back in case I miss something. The thing with film, you always gotta run it back, watch it again. You might miss it. All right, boom, right here. You see where the ball is? Yeah. You know how the ball is all the way over there. I'm gonna go back a little bit, just a little bit. You're face guarding. You're t the, per the player you're playing against, you face guarding him right now. But the ball yeah. is all the way over here on this side. Yeah. The ball is all the way on this right side, on the right side. So what you should do as soon as he gets that ball up, drop back and get it to help. Yeah. Okay. You drop back and get it to help. Don't don't try to stay up because you're guarding your your the player you're guarding is your assignment. But it's a team mm -hmm. game at the end of the day. You have to play defense as a team. So now, since you did this, if he since he missed the shot, you can't go inside and rebound. Yeah, I I, I go inside uh, and I box box out. Now, to get you up. can't you can't get inside since you since you so far out right here. Yeah, yeah, I see. You can't you can't go and rebound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, literally, he's all the way out at the three. He takes a shot around the rim. The only way that ball gets back out to the player you're playing against is if they get an offensive rebound. But if you're in there, you should stop the chances of an offensive rebound happening. On the second one, though, you got inside. Your teammate messed up on that one right there. I'm making that outlet. Man, yeah, boom. That's pretty much all we got, though. So, yeah. if you're best on defense, you just gotta make sure you stay. You you make sure that's your emphasis. Like you're gonna be on defense, and you're gonna be you're gonna be guarding. You're gonna be um what you call it? The person you're going against is not gonna get no easy layups, no easy shots. You're gonna be able to stay in front, stop any back doors. Stop all those little things from happening. So if you're going to place yeah. an emphasis on that, like I was saying, just make sure you don't let that player backdoor you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just got to make sure they, they give that ball up, you drop back, you stay between him and the rim. If he's yeah. about... Yeah. Dang, I wish I could show an example of this right here. When Next time you watch basketball, next time yeah. you watch any sort of basketball, just notice what players do anytime their teammate gives the ball up. Yeah, okay. Anytime they give the ball up, notice what they do. No, I, I, can you repeat? I, I didn't understand. So, you're, the person you're guarding, right, they're going to get the ball. They're going to give it up. They're yeah. going to pass it. But once mm -hmm. they pass it, did your your coach talk about help defense? You know what help defense is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when you help teammate. Yeah. So like you stay between them and the rim, but you're still watching both, you're you're playing both? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So now anytime they give that ball up, boom, you drop back and get into help. Yeah. Anytime. You gotta just the the goal is if you're playing full court defense like he did in that first clip. You got to make sure you get between him, the ball and the rim. I'm going to go back to it once again. Between the ball and the rim. Your, your defender in the rim. All times. Like I was saying right here. You just got to drop all the way back. Because even if he does catch that ball right there, he's not going to score. He's not going to be able to score from right there. If he catches that ball all the way back there. But now you have to chase him down. You're out of position. And like it, like yeah. they do the next time down, they caught him when he was running. Yeah. yeah so now good. you're chasing them. Would have been a layup, but you got a hand on that. But you can't allow those plays to happen. 
those are just basic plays that, like, if your coach sees that happen, he's just to take you out the game. Any, you got any more questions about anything in general? Basketball, plays, teams, all that stuff and whatnot? How, uh, what I can do to be more focused in game? To be more focused? Yeah, like, to, 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 to see any details, any, when my, my teammate cares, when uh, every step like this, how I can, I can put, yeah, how I can be like this in game. To see it like how I'm seeing it and like break it down, stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to get a lot of experience. You have to get a lot of experience. Like, like y'all can see me, see me here, like break this stuff down, but like my whole time I was in high school, I was playing basketball every day. I don't know if I missed it. Like from my eighth grade year to my, when I graduated, not even to my, my college years, even if I stopped playing basketball, I still work out every day to this day, whether I'm lifting weights, whether I'm um, working on my, my vertical or I'm just playing basketball. Like I, it just, it just don't stop. And while I was playing basketball, um, while I was playing basketball, I ain't miss, I ain't miss a day of let, letting the ball in my hands. If I did, it was a couple days out the year, the entire year. Just got to play a lot of basketball. Like there's some days when I would be, I would go to school, and then I'll go train after, and I'll be, I'll be training, playing three on three, four on four, team practice, from like two o'clock to nine thirty. Mm. Like there's just days where you just play, you just, you just, you just try to play as much basketball as you can. Because you're literally just playing is the best teacher. It's the best teacher of, of basketball. It's not. It's not always about the drills and whatnot. You've got to make sure you play enough. And then as you play enough, you need to fix things up. You get the. You do the right drills that are going to help you with the things you need in the game. And so, you're saying you play like three times a week. Let, don't try to go straight to every single day of the week. Maybe next. Maybe next week you do about four. Four days a week. The week after you're like, okay, I feel good. I could do five. Next week you do five, six days in the next week. After that week you do seven days. You just work up to it. You ramp up to it. And I'm kind of answering that same question you just asked one. You said um, you got injured for overtraining. What do you recommend? Well, I say once you do get back, ramp things up slowly and don't push yourself too much. Because I know you felt a barrier. You felt a part of you was like, dang, I'm not, um, I'm doing a little too much. I'm kind of a little stressed out. I'm doing a little too much right now. I shouldn't be doing all this. But you just kept going and going and going and going. And then it's like, dang, it's too, it hit the point where you just crossed that threshold. Where you always got the signs that you should have stopped, but you ain't listened to the signs. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? Saying, uh, yeah, I started training a lot since September, man. I pushed myself too much. <laughs> hey, you got, you got a lot of signs, signs. Hey, I just dropped the Discord. So if I finish, once I finish with uh, this call, I could add y'all in if, you, if, if y'all want to. Uh, Ruby, Juan. Whoever else in here. If y'all want to hop in the Discord, you got some questions, I, I got you. But uh, you are saying, what was, what was you saying? We are talking about uh, just playing more and whatnot? Your play going to teach me to... Yeah, to play, just play. If it's by yourself, you, you got you got anybody that's like by you, that lives near you, like y'all could just play at your court because you, you say you got a court outside? Yeah. yeah. If Even if you don't, Still pick that ball up, still dribble, still just do, just get used to playing. Just get used to having the ball in your hands, get used to just playing basketball. Like, that's the best teacher, bro. Like, I kid you not, I probably ain't, I started playing basketball in, like, fifth grade. I ain't do a yeah. single drill until, like, like, an actual drill, like, workout for real until, like, maybe, like, eighth grade, ninth grade. And I wasn't good. I wasn't good, but it gave me the basis of basketball so then I could start doing the drills and start getting – all this stuff, so then I can be good. Yeah. Um, I, I, I have one more question. What's up? Um, do you think it's too late to start uh, to, to play basketball? Because I, I already start to play basketball at 16. Mm -hmm. do, do you think it's too late? Well, I would say you could you can't place it starting late. You're obviously going to be further behind than your competition. So if you're going to try to have basketball in your life some way, somehow, 
you've got to prioritize and plan things around your life that may come first before basketball because you're at the age where it's thought like you could kind of since you just started playing you can't just bake on um being able to play basketball as your as your way of living because you're behind it's going to take a lot of time basketball doesn't come overnight doesn't come in a month two months it takes a lot of time now some people catch on to it quick like um like Embiid, but that's rare. You're yeah. rarely going to see that. Yeah. So I would say, like, if you're in school, boom, you graduate. Make sure uh, y'all got, like, universities over there, right? Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got a university. Make sure do you you have plans for that, like, things you want to do outside of um, basketball, maybe even in the future? Yeah, I want to what? cook. cook. Yeah, cook up. Oh, like like a chef? Yeah, like a chef. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So like, yeah, like if that's a career you want to go into, make sure you still pursue that. S stay in tune with that. Like continue to push that, but also like on the side, continue to get better at basketball. Cause even if it's not something you're doing for a living, you have yeah. fun playing, right? Yeah. You have fun playing, and you're just gonna get better. It's just, it's, it could just become a hobby. If you get good enough, you can still be like. 30, 28, and you can find your way into like a pro league or some something like that. Yeah. So, I'll say just make you could just keep keep playing, but don't make it don't make it like basketball is my plan A. You already started super late, so you're already behind. But still work hard, still learn, but prioritize those other things that come first, like your school, career, all those little things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all you got? That's all you got? No. No, thank you.